Henry McMahon, one of the uh, most prolific and successful songwriters over this past number of years in Ireland, member of the Mainlanders, chatting to him shortly. And this is one of the songs he wrote. <laughs> Collaboration for a number of years with Declan Ernie. Just one of the many successes, the three-way love affair. Collaborations take the dirty together with Henry McMahon on the three way love affair. Hello, this is Henry McMahon in Castlebane saying hello to all the listeners to Jerry at Irish Radio. <laughs> He struggled through life with no child or no wife. Life sure was one hell of a battle. So he thought he would go to old matchmaker Joe and ask about Mary McKenna. When he heard she got wed, the matchmaker said, Sure, there's lots of fine girls in Fermanna. And we sing, Only loves Anna from the county Fermanna. They drove up and down But it went laps around the town They were madly in love, you could tell On the day they got wet Sure, the preacher, he said Oh, do you take it to the love and to honour? Who won't swim every lake Only said for her sake There's plenty of lakes in Vermont Well, first there was so She came from Belco he thought it was soon he might marry oh, But her father had done Disapproved of the plan So and left Belco in a hurry 
there was my G, my P, but she came from the lead. He thought he would dance her and dine her, but at the disco one night, oh, he got such a fright. When her teeth shone like fine baling china, and he sighed, oh, he loves Anna from the county, from an Asher. Now I'm delighted to uh, be able to speak to a gentleman who is uh, undoubtedly uh, one of the uh, the true legends of music, having spent his entire life involved in uh, music. A member of the Mainliners, not alone that, in his own right, uh, he has his own record company, plus he has written many, many incredible songs. Uh, one of the, uh, I know the word legend is uh, bandied about, but I think this guy definitely uh, is one. The one and only Henry McMahon. Henry, great to speak to you. Good to talk to you too, Jerry, and how are things in London? Not too bad at all, not too bad at all, wherever. The, the same as I think the rest of the world battling uh, through with the uh, the current crisis and doing your best, uh, the best we can, I think, of us. I know. Yeah, we're all in the same boat. Indeed so, indeed so. Uh, you, uh, you're, you've been involved in, in, in music for, for uh, your entire lifetime, Henry. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> we started the mainliners way back uh, in the early sixties, and believe it or not, I've I, I've I've been involved involved in it in the music since then until now, and I'm still involved. Right, right, excellent, excellent stuff. And uh, yeah, of course, you're you're uh, you're the manager of uh, Jerry Guthrie. That's right. Yeah. Uh, a good, a good few years now, and and uh, Jerry, Jerry, as you know, is from uh, Ballina in Mayo, and uh, I, I, how I got uh, to hear about Jerry, there was a a, a chap who was a big fan of the mainliners. He's married to a girl over in in uh, Addy Mass in in Ballina, and. Uh, his name. Uh, 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 he lives. He didn't. He lives uh, in, or he was reared in County Loud, in the, up on the Cooley Peninsula. But anyway, he rang me one day and he told me. Uh, uh, he says, "There's a young fellow. He says is after uh, putting out a record. Uh, uh, he is a one man band, and he says, uh, uh, I'm t- telling you, he's." Uh, as good a country singer, if not the best country singer I've heard for a good while. And he says, uh, you should uh, look him up. And uh, so uh, he, he uh, uh, one night uh, I w- was in uh, the McWilliam Park and I met Jerry. And uh, 
uh, we have been uh, working together uh, ever since. But he, he's an excellent country singer and he's also a fabulous guitar player. Indeed so. Indeed so. Absolutely. Incredibly uh, talented. Unbelievable, yeah. And, uh, like, uh, uh, he, he has developed his own style and his own sound. And uh, when you hear him on the radio, you know it's him. Yes, very much so. And uh, he was uh, yeah, yeah. up until the lockdown. He was he was going in absolute storm with uh, his uh, live shows and uh, dancing dates around Absolutely. the country. Exactly. Yeah, and uh, we we were also doing uh, a lot of uh, stuff uh, on <coughs> the tours to Spain for Paul Cappy and Jimmy Buckley and uh, uh, Robert Mizell. He, he he would. I do the guest spots with them every every year, and uh, which was uh, putting them before uh, a, a new audience. Indeed, indeed. So, and uh, you know, he definitely was in in demand by uh, by everybody because a uh, very very professional show. Uh, seen him a, a couple of times or a few times even, and uh, I must say, a very very impressive artist. Yeah. Now, you were also. Uh, yeah. You were also out playing yourself, uh, Henry, together with the uh, the mainliners, and uh, I spoke a couple of weeks back to John Glenn, and you were uh, out with uh, John and the the mainliners doing some shows once again. Yeah, exactly. We were doing a, uh, doing a few gigs with John, and 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 uh, they were excellent, and uh, uh, it was amazing for to uh, to to be back together with them. Uh, it was. Uh, Forty years since uh, I think since since he joined the mainlanders, he he joined the mainlanders in nineteen seventy five. Yes. When uh, Big Tom uh, left to, to form the Travellers. Indeed, indeed, it was uh, it was a show that was going down an absolute storm, and the the feedback from it was uh, incredible. Yeah, uh, and he he uh, like he absolutely singing is as good as as. The first time we heard him, and, uh, that, that song uh, "Roses in the Snow" uh, was uh, was a, a very successful song for him. It was, it was indeed, and uh, indeed the follow-up to it, "Dim the Lights and Pour the Wine," also was very yeah, successful. Right. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we're working on an album. Uh, well, it's almost finished, and uh, uh, we were just preparing for. Uh, be ready to have it uh, uh, around Easter or shortly after Easter but uh, no doubt uh, w- everything came to a standstill and that's where we're at at the moment Indeed, indeed so but, uh, uh, Yeah, yeah everything. But of course big changes in 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 a very short few years like uh, Big Tom uh, passing away and uh, shortly afterwards, I, I also his wife rose, and and then for uh, believe it or not, last Friday, Friday past, and this night week past was uh, my brother Seamus's first uh, anniversary. Yes, uh, since he passed away, you know, and uh, another good musician that he played with Big Tom, and he he, he was playing with with John Glenn. Uh, uh, and uh, the Rangers, and uh, then when Seamus uh, passed away, he was with us, uh, uh, Thomas Kernan. You remember Thomas? I do indeed, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of changes in a very, very short short couple of years. Indeed, indeed so, indeed so. Uh, uh, sad, of course, Cyril McEvitt, uh, not too long indeed before that. Uh, yeah, uh, believe it or not, Cyril uh, will be uh, dead 11 years in September. Wow. Uh, that's hard to believe, it is. isn't it? It really is hard to believe. Yeah, yeah. but you know, I, I was doing a bit of tidying up in uh, my study here and I came across a, 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 a feature that was in the paper in 2008, and it was uh, the last dance at the Galti. That was uh, th- those two nights were two incredible nights. Weren't they? Yeah, yeah. and of course, 
uh, when when McGalty went uh, uh, that that uh, uh, when when McGalty was going, you were always uh, assured of of uh, filling a weekend. Like uh, you, you'd always pick up a Friday, and uh, you know you had the good Saturday in McGalty, and uh, you pick up the Sunday somewhere else. And but when McGalty went, it was very hard for the put a weekend together for uh, a, a six or a seven piece band. That's why that that that. The like of Jerry, uh, it's, it's not feasible nearly for him to go over. Uh, for the, for the, uh, he needs to have a, a full weekend, you know. Indeed, indeed. I saw him a couple of times over. It was just uh, doing guest spots, you know. That's right, yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, they're very impressive doing that. But, uh, yeah, I can understand the, the, uh, all of the, the, those uh, issues and problems. Henry, you've written a huge amount of uh, incredibly successful songs. Yeah, it's only when uh, you look back over them and uh, uh, the CD that I brought out with the 14 songs that, that uh, people are amazed and... Every now and again, some would say, you may somebody, I didn't believe you wrote that. I never thought you wrote that, <laughs> you know. And, yes. uh, but uh, there were, there were uh, <clears throat> very, very successful songs. And, and uh, considering, uh, like, uh, Jack and Nerny, uh, from, from my, I, 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 I I hooked up with, with, with Dick and Nerny and uh, uh, I to what uh, the start of my songwriting uh, I'll tell you exactly how it came about uh, I was I was listening to uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I was listening to a record one day and it was a uh, Percy French uh, uh, song uh, uh, Michael O'Duffy was singing it. Oh no, it wasn't Michael O'Duffy. Uh, 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 it was. Oh yeah, uh, are, are you right there, Michael? Are you right? That was the only train song that uh, uh, that you could call a train song in, in Ireland. And uh, then one day, I, I, I happened to be traveling in the car, and I heard Buck Car Willie singing. Uh, uh, a medley of train songs, and I just said, no, no, no train songs in Ireland. And I, 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 I wrote the GNR steam train for for uh, Big Tom. Right. Uh, uh, loads of people, loads of people had. Uh, I I thought it would just be a local song, you know. Yes. Uh, that it wouldn't. Uh, it would uh, it would appeal to the people around Monaghan and Dundalk and wherever uh, where the GNR team train ran from. And uh, uh, but I can remember uh, uh, we, we when we recorded the single uh, we were getting uh, 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 we were getting an ad made and the man uh, who who was doing the voiceover on it uh, was Larry Gogan. And we were up to Dublin this Saturday morning, myself and, and Big Tom and uh, uh, Larry done, uh, done the ad. And, and he said to me, you know, he says, Henry, that's a great song. And I, I, I told him, I said, Larry, I am amazed. And I, 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 I take that as one hell of a compliment. Uh, because I said, I thought it was be a local song for Monaghan. Or, or, or uh, uh, the uh, area where, where the GNR steam train ran from Dundalk to Donegal. No, he says, it, it's excellent. And the whole production, it was Tony Campbell who engineered it. And, and uh, you had John Beatty and, 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 and uh, the, the boys and the mainliners on it. And, and Seamus and uh, Ginger and Ronnie. And uh, the beat that they that, that, uh, put to it. Uh, like you can, you can feel the, the train running alongside, you know. Yes. And uh, that was that was the start of it. And uh, well, before that, 
I wrote a, a song, another song for Big Tom called Little Hills of Monaghan. And it it was all about uh, 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 Irish people that went to work on uh, Prince Edward Island in Newfoundland. And uh, one day, or one night, uh, Tommy Macon and maybe Liam Clancy was on tour in uh, Newfoundland. And uh, when he got back home, he, he was talking to uh, Willie McKenna and Monaghan, who was a councillor at the time, and he was telling them about all these people that had Monaghan accents on Prince Edward Island. And uh, so uh, Willie took him across the street to the Northern Standard and uh, uh, they, they got the whole background to it and the story was printed in the Northern Standard and uh, I read it and I wrote the song The Little Hills of Monaghan. So... <laughs> So uh, the next thing, uh, on, on one particular night, uh, uh, John Lennon was running a, a concert up in, in uh, the Rangers Hall in Cross Midland, and uh, Declan Nerney was at it, and uh, he said, I, I went up to the concert anyway, and we were having tea before he, uh, John went on, and Declan said, God, that's a great song, that to you and our steam train. Uh, uh, could you write one like that for me? And I said, Declan, well, I know you, but I don't know you that well. Well, he says, when I was a Gosson, he says, uh, the biggest uh, part of my life was to get to, to see the the bands at the carnival in, in, in Drumlish. And uh, he started to tell me, and I, I can remember walking across the the floor in the marquee, him and his father, and he, I, he was only a gas now. I was probably around 11 or something. And uh, so uh, on my way back from Crossford Glen, I was, uh, it's only six, uh, five or six miles to Blaney anyway, and, and uh, I was coming down, I, I said uh, to myself, uh, Carnival in Drumlish, and it wasn't sitting right. And then I said the marquee. And <laughs> when I when I when I when I had the title, when I had the marquee in Drumlish, I said, uh, uh, that, "This is going to be great." And I had it. I had a half wrote by dinner time the next day. Wow! Uh, and that was that was the start of a great uh, collaboration with Declan. Uh, and and uh, I wrote a load of songs for him. Minutes to have a good to you with the chat with the one and only Henry McMahon. This is one of his compositions. The little hills of Monaghan are often on my mind. The folk that left there long ago and the land that left behind. My home is on Prince Edward's Isle, but my thoughts go back each day. Hills of Mana that seem so far away. My granddad came from Kelly's Cross, grandma from Mammy Vale. They were wet in the valley ocean before the boats set sail. To fire Prince Edward's Island. Just off New Fairland Shore The said farewell to Ireland And the friends did see no more But I'm third generation And my dreams have all come true I'm back again in Monaghan Among my friends in through I've seen the Rocky Mountains, the Niagara Falls, but the little hills of Monaghan are the grandest sight of all. It all began 
had a letter sent by Father Pat to his home in Monathan. From the parish of Prince Edward's side, the told of Father Pat to give a home to those who come to plow and till the land. The Kellys and McMahon They said farewell And them said sail Never to return again For fourteen weeks They traveled Through every storm and gale Until they reached Prince Edward's Island And their new home and me failed Gold to Burberry. Henry McMahon wrote with Big Tom singing us on the little hills of Mola. The songs of Boxcar Willie are the taking me back again to my childhood days in Blaney when I saw my first team train. She was standing at the station with her smokestack black and tall. Then she left her and skillin' heading on the Dunny Gold. Now the first time that I rode this train, oh how my poor heart bled. I was just another emigrant on my way to Hollyhead. I was leaving home that morning to seek fortune and fame. So I left Castle Blaney on the GNR steam train. The farmers working in the fields, they always knew the time. As I listened to her whistle as she thundered down the line. She took many folk away from home and brought them back again. But now she's gone forever, that GNR steam train. Carried freight and livestock from factories and from fairs. She also took the pilgrims to Loch Dare to say their prayers. Going to an Ulster fine, she was really loaded down. As she steamed away through Bally Bay to the game of Clones Town. Taylor's tunnel is no more and the footbridge is now gone There's a row of red brick houses where the rail gates once wrong There are many men in Blaney who wish they were kids again You could flirt and court and lose your heart on the GNR steam train the Farmers working in the fields, they always knew the time as I listened to her whistle as she thundered down the line She took many folk away from home and brought them back again But now she's gone forever, that she and our steam train Shunted to the side The people mourned her passing Like a dear friend who had died I saw big men broken hearted Their tears that fell like rain When they said goodbye forever To the G in our steam train So box shall blow your whistle And imitate your train G and our Western Union To me they're both the same They are now a part of but the memories remain How I'd like to stop and listen To 
hear the whistle of a train The farmers working in the fields They always knew the time As they listened to her whistle As she thundered down the line She took many folk away from home And brought them back again But now she's gone forever That G and R steam train And then of course uh, I, I I wrote uh, You're the Nearest to Perfect for Michael English. Yes, huge, huge. And, uh, and uh, Your Wedding Day mm. for Jimmy Buckley. Yes. And uh, and these are all all uh, coincidences that happen. And uh, 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 Jimmy Buckley, uh, one day, he asked me to manage him, and uh, it was coming up this, I think it was September, and I, uh, I said, okay, and, uh, but as I, uh, it'll, be, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be next year, it won't be this year, when it's up. but he says, I'll have a new album out now, and uh, he said, uh, but says, I, uh, I doubt if you'll have an album out by September, uh, because you need to have it finished and uh, on the shelves by now. And uh, he was going over on a tour, I, I think. And I said, do you want to come over? I said, yeah, I'll go over with you. Well, traveling down the motorway and uh, we started to talk about Christmas. And I said, oh, I love Christmas. And I love, I, I love that, the old black and white films and that all, all that old fashioned stuff. And I said to him, that's a great title for a song, An Old Fashioned Christmas. Right. And, and uh, I, I, I came back and I wrote The Old Fashioned Christmas. And then my daughter Karen got engaged and he, he said, you'll have to write something to mark the occasion. And I wrote your wedding day. Amazing, amazing. And then Robert, Robert uh, I was in Spain with Robert Mazel and... Uh, uh, over, uh, it might have been a, uh, Jimmy Buckley w uh, w week in Spain, and, and Robert was over doing the gu guest spot for a couple of days in the middle of the, the week. And uh, he, 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 every time we meet him, he, he, he would, even before that, he would always say to me, Tell me, Henry, when are you going to write this song, uh, a song for me? And uh, I come out of the hotel one day at one o'clock. And I was heading down uh, for a walk on the beach and go to have something to eat. And it uh, wasn't, wasn't uh, Robert sitting in one of the restaurants. And he gave me the shirt and I went into him. And I, he said, I, I, I have a drink. I said, no, I'm going to have something to eat. And he says, well, let's hang on. So we're sitting. And he said, did you ever, did you ever think about writing that song? Say, uh, give me, I have you anything in mind? He said, did you know uh, that I was fostered uh, when I was a young uh, child? I said, no. Oh, yeah, he says, I was fostered, but fo fostered by a lady called Mama Courtney. <laughs> I said, say that again. I said, well, Mama Courtney, say that is one hell of a title for a song. And he told me the story, the background to the song, and uh, that was on Tuesday. And, of course, I went away walking down the beach. And beach crowded and all. And so nobody knew me. And I know I didn't know nobody, but nobody was bothering me. So I was working away on, in my head. And, you know, Robert was going home on the Wednesday night. And I had it, had the song near enough finished by then. But, like, uh, I, get, I get a great... I get a great kick out of songs, and uh, I want to tell you the story about uh, uh, the 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 Irish nurse. Uh, we we would go on tour, and uh, we would always end up invariably doing a gig in the hospital in Old Church in Romford, and. Uh, there were, there were, there, uh, there were training, I, a load of Irish girls went there to train for nursing, and there was a priest there, and anyway, they had a big recreational hall, and they used to get 
the band drove her and uh, we we were one of the bands that uh, was very popular and uh, it was always an incredible night the, uh, the nurses uh, they would all they make sure we'd have a, a dinner and all a full dinner and, and, and it was excellent and treated like it was just just super and uh, so that's where I got the idea to, to write a song with an, an Irish nurse and I don't know many people that that uh, and I, I would keep meeting these people even though uh, those couple of years the Big Tom wasn't on the road I was I, I was on the road all the time. I was managing uh, Jimmy Buckley and, and uh, Jerry Guthrie, and uh, I, I'd be meeting these people and say, "Oh, look at uh, we we trained in in the old church hospital in Romford, you know." Yes. So that's a bit of an insight. You'll have to edit half of this <laughs> probably uh, because it's very long winded. Jerry. No, it's, it's all very, very interesting. But uh, you know, to be fair, you've written, uh, you know, you've written others as well, which are not even on that album. And one of your latest offerings, Ash, I spoke to him uh, uh, recently, uh, Cowboy Larry Taff, who recorded uh, uh, your song, The Titanic. Yes, uh, and you know something, uh, uh, he, he, he done a fabulous job on it. He did. Yes, excellent. Uh, have you heard it or? Did, Yes, I have. Yes, Play, we've played yeah, it, played yeah. it on the program, and uh, you know, uh, you know, a superb song. As you say, Larry has done a uh, done a great job on it. It definitely is a a, a fabulous uh, talent to be able to actually, uh, you, you know, come out and uh, you know and and, and put uh, uh, the, you know the the words and the uh, the story together yeah. in a in a song like that. Well, it's a gift, believe it or not, and and. There's fellas, uh, I've spoken to uh, different songwriters and I, I don't seem, uh, I, 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 I write when I, when I, when, uh, when I'm in the car. I've written more songs uh, traveling in the car and switch off the radio and, and, and just uh, there traveling along and, and, uh, uh, it's amazing and, I haven't written anything recently. In conversation with Henry McMahonlon, this was one of the songs. Cowboy Larry and the Titanic. They called it a night to remember The night the Titanic went down Though it's now many years We still shed a tear the hundreds of souls that were drowned She carried the rich and the famous There was also the Irish and poor But they died side by side in the water Their loved ones had never seen more Known as the flagship of White Star The biggest, the grandest, the best And from top deck to keel This floating hotel Was built by the men of Belfast She set sail from Southampton to Sherbrooke On her very first trip to New York and the last port of call for most of them all was Queenstown, now called County Cork. Three days out at sea, all was normal. Then the radio chief got the word. We're back for ice flows and large icebergs. But the captain, he thought, how I've the rich danced and dined and played pharaoh This sure was a voyage of fun And down in third class A young Irish lass Was writing some lines to her mum Too late to 
came a call from the crow's nest A large field of icebergs ahead It was twenty past two And the captain, he knew The liner Titanic was dead Many stories are told of Titanic And those lost But the strangest and true Was the lady who knew The great ocean liner was first She would sail with her husband and daughter And once more she'd plead all in vain Don't set foot on the ship called Titan Yes, they called it a night to remember The night the Titanic went down Though it's now many years We still shed a tear For the hundreds of souls that were drowned He carried the rich and the famous was also the Irish and poor But they died side by side in the water Their loved ones they'd never see more No, their loved ones they'd never see more I, I, I did write the, the old guitar for, <laughs> for, for Jerry Guthrie. I'll tell you the story about it. Uh, he was doing, a, uh, doing an interview with Theo McCann uh, on Highland Radio, and uh, Theo was asking him the question. And tell me, uh, Jerry, uh, is that, was your family musical, or where did you take up the music? And he said, well, he says, uh, there was an old guitar laying in my grandmother's front room, and, and uh, it, it belonged to... Uh, a uh, 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 horse on and he left and he went to England and believe it or not he never came back and the guitar was laying there and he says I, I've I been in, in an, uh, uh, out of the house running about nine or ten and he says I'd be running about and no strings on this thing and uh, uh, and that's where where, where uh, I got the the, the the idea that I like the music, and then I, of course, wrote to Santi, and Santi uh, brought me a guitar that I that I could uh, uh, learn on myself. So uh, when it went when uh, and it were just happened to be by chance, I happened to be down in the office, and I, I put on the the computer, and and I was listening to the interview, and uh, because it, it was on Highland, and. Uh, I said to him, I said, I, 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 I never believe, I never heard you, the story about the, the old guitar and that, that's how it came about, you know. Excellent. Absolutely superb. Amazing where the inspiration comes from. And, uh, you know, you, you have written a huge amount, uh, you know, as I say, as well as the, the, uh, you know, the ones which are featured on the album of uh, your songs. You've written many, many more as well. And, uh. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there's, uh, there's a, a few uh, very I, people often ask me uh, what's your what's my favourite uh, you don't have a favourite but every song is has a special meaning indeed uh, to, uh, for, for whatever you know so uh, now uh, those were fabulous times in the Galtie Moor and and uh, working for the Bourne's organisation, and I, 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 I met if Michael Bourne would uh, get a, a, a chance to uh, uh, listen to this interview, I, I would like to say hello to him and, and his family. And uh, 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 the, uh, as every band was treated. Uh, very well in the Galtimore and the people who made the tea and all the rest of it, you know. 
Indeed, so it was. Uh, it was one of those, uh, you know, sort of legendary venues, and had uh, been there for just so many, many years. It's right, yeah, and and you had Birmingham as well, and and uh, Fulham, Broadway, and uh, uh, the Harbour New Cross, and uh, uh, it it it, it uh, and the Gresham, the Gresham in Holloway Road Indeed. for uh, Tom Gorman, like. Uh, it's it's uh, it was a great era. Indeed, indeed, and, so. And we were all young and and uh, fit and and you know, the care in the world and uh, uh, the amount of people uh, that that uh, came to to to. Uh, here all the all the bands uh, and uh, that ever played the Guilty Moor or played any of those halls in England, like uh, as somebody said, we were the, the the connection because there was no there was no Ryanair and there was no uh, online booking. That's for sure. That is that is for but sure. You get, you get you back if if you if you, if you got back for your two uh, two weeks holidays in the summer. If you didn't get back for that, you'd get back for Christmas. And, uh, so that, so that, uh, more or less is, is, uh, my, uh, uh, but like, uh, Big Tom, he was an absolute, uh, superstar, and he was a superstar in England, and Johnny McCauley. Indeed. And like, I have written good songs, but, uh, uh, Johnny is still the master. Indeed, he. he, he oh, stop! Like uh, his his lyrics and his melodies uh, were just absolutely class. Indeed, and, and he he did. Uh, we uh, they call it country and Irish, and uh, and he's the man that invented it and didn't get enough recognition for that. Indeed, indeed not. He actually, he paved the way, really, for what uh, w- did, what we call yeah, country yeah. and Irish. Because yeah, before, exactly, yeah. Before that, it was, uh, country was kind of, uh, uh, came from America, but he, uh, he, he was the first man to actually uh, write songs uh, that were uh, 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 country right, yeah. and Irish by nature, yeah. you know. He was a, a trailblazer yeah, yeah, in that. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I'd like to say hello to his wife Phyllis and uh, I also his his son as well and uh, all the all 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 the people that that danced to Big Tom and the Mainliners and Jimmy Buckley and Michael English and <laughs> Jerry Guthrie uh, and Declan Neri like it was as I said before it was a, a, a great era indeed. Indeed, absolutely fantastic, fantastic, Henry. Listen, it's, it's been brilliant to uh, to catch up with you. Brilliant to talk to you. Thanks indeed for giving uh, such a great insight into uh, the uh, uh, the days and the writing of the songs. Very, very interesting. And uh, listen, I wish yourself and uh, and uh, your family uh, health and uh, happiness. And uh, in the times that's in it, uh, you know, stay safe and well. Absolutely, and uh, same uh, to you, Jerry, and and. Uh Again, uh, 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 wishing all your listeners uh, good health and keep safe as well. And I, 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 I'll talk to you again. All right, and thanks for thinking about giving me the shout. A real pleasure, Henry, a real pleasure. Thank you indeed. <laughs> It lay in my grandma's front room for over 30 years And every time she looked at it, in her eyes she felt the tears And she thought about her young boy all those years ago Who left his guitar behind him and his family in Mayo I must have been a boy of six when I held that old guitar It didn't matter that it had no strings I took it everywhere Till the day I wrote 
talk to Santa, just a little note to say. But he bring me my own guitar that I might learn to play. It was just an old beat up guitar that lay in that front room. I never met the boy who owned it, never heard him play a tune. But my mother often told me on the Bible she would swear. You got your love of music from that old guitar. As I grew up, I learned to play like my heroes from back then. Hank Marvin, Dwayne Eddy, and the Rhinestone Cowboy Glen. With all my school days at an end, I put the books away. And I hit the road. Just one of the many, many compositions of the great Henry McMahonlo. And the old guitar from Jerry Guthrie, a guest this afternoon, the one and only Henry McMahonlo.